Oh boy, hey hey elites, how's it going? It's me, your guy Waddles, lead gamer here. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode number 40. Wow, that's a lot of episodes. I can't even, in fact, I can't even count that high, which is crazy. Uh, you know what's happening today. You already know, you've known for a long time. We're gonna fight the dragon today, right? All right. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, guys, uh, sorry, but we're not going to fight the dragon today. We're going to do something different. There's a project that I'd like to finish over here at the base before we head off to the dragon and come back and do other things. So, uh, yep, sorry about that. No, there's lots of anticipation for the fight, but soon, I promise, we'll do it soon. So today, we're going to actually finish up a lot of the base. I talked about it in the beginning of the last episode, and I actually did a little terraforming over there before the last episode, and I'd like to basically continue that process. This area feels unfinished, and I don't really like that because, I mean, I've built a lot of things over here. It shouldn't feel so unfinished. So today, we're going to actually go ahead and put a melon farm in over there, fully automatic, and then maybe do a little bit of work in here as well. We'll at least connect the path up, but I, I don't know what else. So I've actually already started this melon farm project. Project. I put some markers in and I actually gathered I think almost all of the materials that we're going to need So uh, these melons are from the melon farm that we have in the nether uh, But the problem here is the diamond axe has silk touch usually you harvest these things with an axe uh, And it's not working. So let's try the fortune three pickaxe. I don't know if this is going to fortune the melons. Let's see uh, seven, okay Mm, I think it does. I'm not 100% sure. Seven more. Okay, well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe Fortune 3 is not doing anything. Uh, yeah, that's definitely not doing anything at all to the melons. Maybe. I can't tell. That was nine melons. Anyways, today's project should be pretty straightforward. We're basically going to copy the pumpkin farm that we did over there, but plant melons this time instead. I think that'll make the storage building feel really grand. It'll be at the center of two big farms, and we have this circle path going around it, so that should be cool. But to start things off, first, we need to raise the ground. It needs to be raised up to the layer that I'm currently walking on. Later on, we'll be coming back and clearing out the area below the farm for a hopper minecart collection track, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove some of the dirt right now, and then the rest of it will get removed uh, once we're actually putting the minecart in. Now, this farm is going to be slightly different because we have quite a drop on this side of the build so I think what we're gonna do is build the farm straight out like we would anyways and then uh, we'll probably have to do like an actual wall on this side and we could probably have the hill terraformed over this way so it looks like it just ends and then there's a wall and then on the back side we can terraform the hill out as well it, it'll be pretty easy but a little different what did I do here one two three four five so five blocks from each pillar so one two three four five then I know the center one is six blocks out, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh one, we do this, and you guys get the point. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. All right, so the base of this farm is in, and these side pillars have been fully raised up. Now we need melon seeds. So I think we'll be planting, yeah, we'll definitely be planting 16 melon plants inside of this farm. Then we need to make our redstone components. So first things first, we need uh, 16 observers. No, one short. Uh, uh, 16 observers. Then we'll need 16 pistons as well. Wow, I'm out of cobblestone. I think I, I think I hope I have more down here. Uh, bingo, we hit the jackpot. So 16 pistons as well, just normal pistons. After that, we'll need some smooth quartz to lay our redstone on and redstone dust. Then we can put all of this cobblestone away, those leaves, and and I guess that pickaxe too. That wasn't useful at all. All right, so this automatic melon machine, this thing is super simple. It's exactly the same as the pumpkin one, actually. We start with two building blocks and then put two redstone dust right on top of those things. Then we do a piston right there and an observer facing like that right there. After that, we move these things and grab spruce slabs and a stone hoe. Spruce slab goes right there, and then we need to put some water on that slab that'll stay waterlogged like that. Then we till that and plant a melon seed right there. Eventually, we will replace this block with something like stone, or we'll put a button there, or something to block melon spawns right there, because that would be bad. That means the melon will be forced to grow right here. The observer will detect when the melon grows, because it can see when the stem changes its state from grown to attached to a melon. The piston harvests everything, a minecart that we'll put in a little later on, we'll pick everything up and drop it off in a chest for us. 
Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now we can make everything more compact by using these central blocks and wiring again on the back side. So we do the exact same thing, but facing the other way, we'll do even the exact same water log slab block. And then the melon gets planted there, the seed goes right there, and water finally goes inside of this block right there. Now technically, we don't need to be using all of this water. We could probably actually be a little bit more efficient and just put a single water log slab right there, but uh, that's good. I, it works like that, it's symmetrical, so I'm happy with it. So now we need to copy this tile over again and again and again and then again and again and again and again. So we have eight tiles total of this machine. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and make that happen. Okay, so the whole machine is now in. All of the melons have been planted. That means it's time to do something else. That something else is custom trees. Just like how we did on the pumpkin farm, to blend things in and make this melon farm a melon garden, we'll actually work on a bunch of custom trees in here. So I think I did like five when I built this one, and I'm going to try and copy that over here. So if I did one there, one there, that's two, then maybe three over there. Or maybe, maybe we put three over here and then this can get moved back to here. So four and then maybe one more over here. So five. I think that should be good. Or maybe the five one goes there. So that means it's custom tree time, which is something that I really, really love the sounds of. I've been loving building custom trees in this season. Like, I don't know. I'm sort of thinking about making a new season and... I literally only doing custom tree builds like season five is is just custom trees that's it like no buildings like literally just trees um okay maybe that's not the entire truth but i have been loving doing custom trees they're really really fun so i'm gonna go ahead and get the custom trees in now uh starting with the shape i need to get the shapes uh, just perfect unfortunately i haven't been very good when it comes to harvesting materials for this build this time I'm gonna need to farm a lot of oak trees to actually get this build in because I just don't have enough wood and I don't have enough leaves. So this process might be a bit of a long one, but it will definitely be worth it in the end. And maybe by the time we're done building this thing or the trees, uh, the melons will actually be, be growing. The plants seem to be growing pretty quickly actually. Alright, so the machines are in, the trees are in, that means it's time to set up the collection system. Now the collection system is pretty straightforward. All that we have to do this time to pick up all of the melons is basically go under here, lay a floor, put a hopper minecart line with some rails on top of that floor, and we're good. But of course, rails. That's uh, what we need. We don't have very many right now. Well, actually, we might have enough powered rails, but we definitely absolutely won't have enough normal rails so let's go ahead and go actually back over to the storage building because uh your guy forgot the iron there we go now now we should be able to build this thing so to start things off we'll do hopper hopper going right into our collection chest this is where we'll pick up the melons from then uh we need lots of stone bricks lots of rails and some powered rails as well we'll have our rail line go straight across the front of the building then in every other place we'll have it snake throughout this whole underside of the farm if that's what we want to call it. Uh, yeah, basically, we need lots of rails that, that snake around in here. This part of the project, like everything else so far, should be pretty easy. I'll be laying a rail line on the stone bricks so I don't mess something up later if I ever dig around here, which I might end up doing, actually. All right, elites, big brain time. We have a big problem. Uh, if this rail line were to continue how it's going, it'll go down this way, then it'll turn around, and uh, it won't link up. So, it, just like what we did on the track the first time when we were laying this, we're going to have to come up with something clever to get around this problem. The clever solution here, I think, will be to have this go down, wind it back, 
then we'll drop it down a few blocks just like we did on the pumpkin farm and have it loop right back around to the front of this track and everything will be beautiful uh only two things so we need to do though we need to make uh more rails for sure so like that and then a little bit more powered rails as well so that means more redstone and uh then i'd like to do one thing uh any melons yet Oh, I don't think so, <laughs> uh, but it looks like we will have them soon. Cool. And it's a big day, but this circle has to go away. Now, this circle has been here for a long time. If you can remember, this is where we we're going to put the storage building in, uh, initially, which would have been really weird now that the storage building is where it is because it's perfect where it is. And putting it over here would have been, yeah, it would have been really weird. The big moment is here. Let's make a hopper with a minecart, or a minecart with a hopper, my bad, and then we'll put it on its course. Uh, do you make it all the way through this thing, even though I didn't remove the side blocks? Uh, you do. You are doing well. That's amazing. This hopper minecart should be good. Now, I'll keep my eyes on it, but we're going to have to terraform this hill differently than I planned initially. So... We'll have to have the hill come out around here to hide the wiring, unless we want to do something else, actually. We could do, like, a glass window. That might be kind of cool, like, to be able to see into the farm. You know what? We're going to do a glass window right here. So I'll come back with glass and get that in, but uh, now the surrounding area around this farm. So I need to do the oak trick that I did on this farm, like on the raised part that I did over here. So basically, I think I used staircases and slabs, uh, yeah, like that, to create a little bit of a, a retaining wall. So I'll get that in. Then it's time to get the surrounding area in as well. So rose bushes, uh, is that a trader? That's a trader. At my house too wow i haven't been over all th that way in a minute uh hold on a minute here what's going on what are you uh, who are you what do you have uh you have uh leads wow you have leads that is beautiful get back here sir and the llamas are my friend too okay never mind well i'm sorry um i didn't want to have to do that i mean walter didn't want to have to do that oi buddy no stop that uh, anyways, I have lots of decorations to get in. We're gonna basically copy exactly what I did over here, but do it over there. By the way, this is what the trees look like. I'm pretty happy with how they ended up. I'm thinking maybe we need another bee nest over here, though, so we'll have to go find one because you can't craft those things. I really like the touch that that adds, but that's something for a later time. This is the strip mine entrance, by the way. We'll have to relocate that soon for sure. That's going to be kind of a problem being right there, but time for me to go ahead and get lots of decorations in. Then, uh, well, then we'll, we'll see what happens. Oh, and I need the center path in there. I almost forgot about that. What did I use on the path over here, though? I can't really remember. I know I use mossy cobblestone, but what else? Uh, path blocks? Mossy cobblestone, cobblestone, and stone. Okay, got it. You won't believe it. You genuinely won't be able to believe it because uh, your guy is now uh, maybe kind of mostly possibly done with the decorating. I don't know. Decorating is a thing where it's like I basically just keep coming back and adding more changing things. But here's what we have right now. So hay bales, rocks, uh, plants, sugar cane growing in here. This is three high. That's four high. And then I actually went ahead and put a string on top of this one to keep this one one high forever. That's a little detailing trick for you guys. I don't think I ever mentioned it actually before, but yeah, I, I love that trick. Then uh, in here, we have the melon farm. We have roses planted around here. We have the path in, so the melons won't grow onto the road. And of course, the minecart is running below the thing. Now, behind the farm, I didn't do too much. I spread a little grass. I actually forgot to do the spruce slabs on this street, so I'll have to come back with slabs and, and staircases to finish this one off. But yeah, I left the back kind of empty because i'm not too sure what i'm going to do in here quite yet and if i do like a build of some sort then i want this area's uh, like decoration to match the build so 
yep we'll come back over there later and work on that so the melon farm at this point in the episode is now actually completely done and it's been running and actually harvesting some melons which is pretty cool in my opinion now with all of that being done that means we can actually move on to the next part of today's episode so before we go over to the end i'd like to finish things up over here a little bit more than they are finished so to start we'll go ahead and make our diagonal path coming off of this circular one right here going downwards um i might have oh wait oh there's one more thing i didn't show you guys uh the glass over here i really like the glass and how that turned out that will stay there forever sure like it looks a little weird because of the path in the middle but i mean i like it i think it's pretty cool but uh anyways we're gonna have a diagonal path oh one more thing uh the strip mine entrance is right there now but diagonal path of stone uh a steep one too going straight down from here so let's say maybe slab uh slab there then this gets dug out which means like a block there and then we can do more slabs out here then a few more blocks down here and then slabs down now once the path cuts down off of this thing things are going to change i'm thinking in this area we'll do an entirely different path this entirely different path will be made up of path blocks it will also have spruce wood on it because spruce wood will blend well with that and then finally we'll do uh coarse dirt blocks as well no clue why that was so hard to say but yeah coarse dirt in here as well so this will be a really uh like a, a worn path a um a worn path <laughs> i don't know a better word for it but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get the path in now okay so the path is in i sort of blended the gray path out just a tiny bit with a view blocks i didn't want to go overkill with the blending because i think that it would look really really random but overall the path is in and it looks good i didn't really have to do too much of the path in certain areas like over here because it was kind of already done so basically just had to add a little bit of spruce planks but but now we need to make this area right in front of the house look a little bit better now to do that i think custom trees are the answer so i'll put i think a custom tree maybe well you know what mm, you know what you know what you know what maybe these trees should go back into the hill a little bit more so we can still see the house because i'm pretty proud of the build i, I think it looks nice and if i crowd it with trees it won't stand out as much so maybe we put one there we could do maybe another one uh like somewhere in here maybe like there ish then we could do one i think in here somewhere right just going right along the path and then maybe we do one more over on this hill behind the white sheep stall maybe right there so now that's custom tree time but uh again <laughs> uh kind of out of supplies so i'm gonna have to cut down some more oak trees and make that happen and i forgot to get the saplings whoops uh, that's my bad boom the trees are now in and i've got to say it leads some love in this world i really really like how this is coming together i don't know i've always envisioned this but you, you guys haven't seen it until now and i think it looks really really nice it definitely cuts the starter house off from everything else that we built especially the the wool market but i think it looks so so much better like this because the backs of the stalls with the redstone and all you know wasn't the best and now over here i actually do have another build planned eventually in this area so i decided to skip the trees we'll do this whole little strip in here the corner where i'm standing right now later on we'll probably end up adding two or three custom trees in here but for now uh we'll just focus on this area so that's good the next step is definitely the ground we need things happening on the ground so i'm thinking some sort of maybe pond and waterfall coming out of the the cliff there into the ground and going down here that would look really really nice in there then definitely bushes the bushes will be done with spruce leaves then uh maybe some flowers as well and maybe a few lighting tricks here and there we'll probably bury jack-o-lanterns under the leaves and uh do things that way because i'm sort of starting to run low on iron which is a huge huge problem i really need more iron so uh soon we'll definitely need to go mining but for now we can just use jack-o-lanterns and try and eliminate as much spawn potential as possible if it's not perfect it's fine uh, but if we can get rid of a lot of spawning areas in here that would be great because then the wool market i think is already safe so this whole area behind it would be safe as well which is something that i love the sounds of by the way we're gonna do some cobblestone on the wall in here to make things look worn out and cliff 
E, if that makes sense. So let's say our waterfall starts right there and then goes straight down into here. I think that's nice. I usually don't go for a straight waterfall, but I think it looks good this time. Maybe this block right here should be stone, though. That might make, yeah, that makes a little bit more sense. Um, Yeah, I think I like that. But what if we did that? I think I like that a whole lot more. So let's go ahead and have that angle going on. You need the angles into waterfalls. They, they make things look so, so nice. Then maybe, just maybe, we could fit a little pond in here too. This one won't have a waterfall attached. It'll just be a small uh, area of water. I think that would look nice. And we'll have to do that to make sure we can't see under the pathway. Now also in this step, I'm planning on coming into the large grassy areas and breaking them up with coarse dirt. Coarse dirt does a great job of this and I don't think it's a problem that we have it in the path because in the path we have path blocks and spruce planks so a little bit more coarse dirt up there shouldn't be too confusing. It's a pretty straightforward concept. Now one other thing that I'd like to mention, uh, this area is very open and plain. We're gonna actually leave it like that. I have an idea for something that could go here later as well. Don't know if we'll ever get around to it, but uh, yeah, this area will stay open and that is definitely intentional. But time for me to go ahead and get all of this terraforming in, or at least most of it. Here we are at the end of the episode and it's time for the big reveal. I gotta be clear, this is the the best terraforming I think that I've ever done. I mean, at least in this world, I am so, so happy with what I came up with here. Here is the final product. So, we have big trees, we have pumpkin piles, we have bushes, we have lilacs in there, lilac? I think it's called a lilac. And uh, yeah, just a really, really nice foresty feel and also a foresty wall because now the wool market, I mean, it's a thing back there. You can see it poking through, which is really nice in my opinion, but I don't know. I just don't know, elites. I am really, really happy with how this all ended up here. I did come in and bone meal the wall Water as well get some lily pads in there and then some sugar cane as well using that same string trick there I think that works out really really nicely and overall I'm so pleased with how it is now I did check a lot of the lighting in here too we should be pretty much completely good on the path I think other than maybe this block right there actually but yeah overall the lighting should be pretty safe the lighting is also pretty much taken care of on this hill and even in this area as well I did forget to come back in here and add a few lilacs. I wanted to put some in this area, but I, I did put some bushes just to make it look finished in case I don't do anything with it for some time because uh, otherwise it's gonna look like a weird plain flat area, which would be a uh, weird plain and uh, definitely flat. Now, big problem, bad news. Uh, unfortunately, I have to report to you that I think bees have gone missing again. We need to make a better bee farm. We need to make like a bee house probably soon because uh, yeah, I keep losing bees and that's a big problem. I definitely don't want to, to lose the bees all like all together and completely. But I think we're going to go ahead and end today's episode right here today. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, drop a like and subscribe. What do you think about this area behind me? I don't know. This might be my favorite spot in the world now. Right in front of the Stutter House. That's kind of cool. Today, I'd like to send a big shout out, a big thank you to my patron, Cricket MC. Thank you very much for the support. And again, thank you all for watching. Until next time, stay cool, elites. Everything you need in your life is down in the description. The merch is right down below the video too. You definitely need some of that in your life. Uh, but I will see you in the next one and we'll maybe see the dragon in the next one too. Goodbye, elites. Adios.